Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, where you can sign up for the Shannon's Club and Penright Oil, offering technical assistance seven days a week. Hello and welcome to another sensational episode of Classic Restos, thanks to Shannon's Insurance and Penrite Oil. How cool is this? The mighty Shannon Super Rig. And as an insurance company, they offer us as the motoring enthusiasts just so much more. After all, what would you expect? Shannon's is ran by enthusiasts just like ourselves. You can pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for more information on 134646. And Shannon's also have the Shannon's Club. It's an exclusive opportunity for us to interact with fellow enthusiasts. Find out more when you visit Shannon's online at shannons.com.au. The Shannon's Club truly is your garage. And as you know, when it comes time for the finest in oils, coolants and fuel additives and a whole lot more, you can't go past Penrite. They've been established since 1926, Australian made and Australian owned. They've certainly stood the test of time. Yes, this is my dodgy dart and it uses HPR 30 and it always has. All of my cars use the same oil from Penrite. If you're not too sure on the grade of oil to use, why not contact the technical assistance team available to us seven days a week. To find out more information, check them out at penriteoil.com.au. Oil right. Use Penrite, simply a better class of oil. And on today's show, I have travelled to Queen Bien, New South Wales, Australia, for a pinnacle event. It's as though the United States of America have arrived and everyone's invited. In fact, this event is just getting bigger each year and is simply too good to pass up. Welcome to the American Car Nationals. The American Car Nationals is always a must-see friendly event and this year promises to be another great show. The show has been an annual event on the motoring enthusiasts calendar since 1991. This popular original event brings together a huge variety of American cars from all over Eastern Australia and draws a large number of spectators as well. So what is it about American classic cars? Why are they so popular? Well, for a start, there were millions of them made, and in a time where no other country could compete with, in some cases, such outlandish vehicles on a mass-produced scale. If it was long, if it was powerful, if it was comfortable, and if it had stacks of chrome, most times it's easy to say it was built in the USA. And it's where so many traditional Australian-made vehicles utilised their ideas and mechanical underpinnings. The American Car Nationals has been around for a very long time. An event such as this speaks for itself. And so now it's time to get a little upfront, close and personal with some people that have made the effort to come along and show what they've got. Now before you think to yourself, hey, how stupid does Fletch look? Well, possibly you're right. But today here at Queen Bianne is going to be around 37, 38 degrees C, which is around about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So out comes a sombrero. What do you reckon, Paul? Yes, give me a scorcher. Hey. Sure is. Hey, Fletchy, how does he look in the hat? Uh, look quite good, actually. It yeah, suits you. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Well, uh, you know, as I said, it's uh, it, it's a low-quality hat, but, uh, you know, at least it'll um, keep the, the heater off the head. That's right. High-quality hat for the day. <laughs> now, Paul has a 1975 Chevy Monza, and it may not be one of the longest cars or one of the most luxurious cars, but it has got an interesting story. Go for it, Paul. Yes, um, this car was designed during the energy crisis in the 70s, where um, Chevrolet had to come up for an idea of a mid-sized car. Uh, the car was designed to have a rotary engine and they spent millions of dollars buying the rights to use the Wankel rotary engine and at the 11th hour it all fell through and they realised that the, um, it was just as hard on fuel as the uh, small block Chevy so they went along with the Chevy. Um, if you lived in California you could have the uh, 350 Chev but most of the Monsters come out for 305 and then um, Pontiac also had the Sunbird engine in them at four cylinders and um, so forth. Isn't that interesting? I wouldn't have uh, even thought that the rotary engine would have been up there with fuel economy. Obviously, a two-barrel carbon on a 350. Yes, and uh, it's got a, ma um, a massive transmission hump inside the car, which yeah. accept the Wankel engine. Mm. And uh, for a big engine, it has only weighs 1,300 kilos. Yeah. 
and um, done quite well in Australia as well as the States in motor racing. Uh, Peter Brock, Alan Moffat, Grice, Bob Jane raced them and uh, they were fierce car on the motor track. Paul's an information source. Hey, the day's just started and Paul's into it with, with the big names in racing and it's the only car, well, the Monza here on the paddock today. Um, so it is quite unique, Paul. Sure. There's only um, one registered myself in Canberra. There's another one over here that's in Queanbeyan. Yeah. But um, they're pretty rare car and I've owned a few American cars yeah. and uh, the ideal package, I feel. Mate, it's a small car for a 350. It must be a pocket rocket. It sure is, yes. Great car. And um, the guy I bought off had two of them. Yeah. And this was a right-hand drive, so I grabbed the right-hand drive one. Is it a nice car to drive? Brilliant. Best handling car, power to weight, mm. disc brakes, coil suspension on the rear. Mm. Very good package. Good on you, Paul. That's right. that's interesting. Uh, and thanks for getting me in the headlock when I got here, mate, to be on the show. Because I, I appreciate what you're saying with this car. And uh, very interesting stuff. Thanks very much, Fletch. You're Thank welcome. you. Bye-bye. Th thanks, Paul. Bye-bye. Moving through the 2014 American Car Nationals. Time for a 69 Super B. How are you, Craig? I'm good, Fletch. How are you? Good, mate. Good. How's that hat of yours working Good. Out? Isn't it nice? It's the best hat at the show. Yes, absolutely. It reflects the budgets of classic restos. You should be selling them. <laughs> That's not such a silly idea. Uh, I tell you what, though, it is keeping the heat off. Boy, it's uh, it, it is savage here today. It's a scorcher. Yeah. Well, Craig, it hasn't stopped you bringing out this beautiful B, a sixty-nine and a half B, of course, four forty-six pack car. Tell us the rundown on this one. It's uh, yep, as you said, it's a genuine A twelve Super B, four forty-six pack, uh, four speed with a Dana four point one uh, rear end. It's a factory drag car, really. Uh, Dodge bought them out in the middle of 69 uh, because they went all a bit crazy uh, in the late 60s and uh, decided to, well, the bloke who designed them said uh, we're going to make the last badass streetcar. It's ridiculous when you stop and think about it how they use such a big full-size car as a performance car. And in some respects, it wasn't until the late 60s where they started realising to drop the big engines into the smaller type A-body cars. That's right. They went a bit crazy. Um, they started to put them in darts and all sorts of cars. Um, but yeah, this is this is the mid-size car, but it's not much mid about it. It's, it's a big car. It's a beautiful car. I mean, there's something about these bees. If you went to get a fibreglass hood, and put it up on four posts on any other car, it'd be pretentious. Yeah. But because it left the factory like this, that's just awesome. Yeah, and you would have seen them at Carlisle, Fletcher. Uh, you get rows and rows of these A12s all lined up. You get the Roadrunner version and the, and, oh, the, the Dodge version, the Super yeah. B version, yeah. all lined up with their hoods all on their poles. They look yeah. fantastic. Yeah. You've got to see the Carlisle Nationals on a Fletch tour in 2015, and they are affordable. And as Craig says, when you see a whole row of them, yeah, it's beyond words really, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen the videos. I've seen your show when you're over there. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of the... Uh, I'm glad that's a good line you said. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of the forums uh, from the uh, six-pack guys. And there's just lots and lots of these fantastic and very rare Chryslers over there. And um, it's the mecca for, yeah. for Chrysler lovers. Yeah, preaching to the converted here. Yeah. Um, now, Craig, this particular car, how long have you had it and what history do you know about it? Well, I've had it for about uh, two years. I bought it off an old guy in uh, Arizona. <laughs> I don't know much about it before then, although I've tried to track it down. Uh, he's, so, the, he's the guy now with his electric scooter <laughs> getting around Arizona with with extractors on it, right? He is. He is. Sadly, though, it had a colourful history uh, once it arrived in Australia. The day I picked it up in Melbourne uh, from the importer, I got hit up the bum by a Melbourne taxi, and he cleaned up the rear bar and the quarter panel. Uh, and then going to Chrysler's on the Murray um, this year, blew the uh, left-hand front tyre which damaged the guard. So it's been in and out of Shannon's uh, approved workshops. <laughs> they are excellent at what they do. Major sponsor of the show for more contact information, classicrestos.com.au. Every battle scar, though, is a trophy, Craig, isn't it? It is. The car's got a lot of character, and it's uh, because I've been th uh, through so much with the car, uh, I suppose I'm, you know, I've, I've got that bond with the car now, and it's yeah. more precious to me. Yeah, so yeah. Um, um, The interior's been done. I like the... Uh, the insets there? Yeah, the, the orange. Um, in the early 70s, there was an option you could get from a dealer, uh, the uh, Halloween package. Um, although it wasn't available in 69, someone in the early 70s has retrimmed the car uh, in the Halloween style. Wow. Uh, so the orange stripes really set the car off. Mate, talk about Halloween trick or treat. I'll take the treat. That's good on you, Craig. Oh, it's, it's been a pleasure. Oh, my word, mate. Beautiful can I, car. Can I buy one of those hats? Yeah. Uh, this is mine. This is my hat. You can't have this particular one, but leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Fletch. I'll speak to the uh, hat section of Classic Restos. Cheers, mate.
When it comes time for the best in classic vehicle home and contents insurance, you cannot go past Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote on 134646? And have you signed up to become a member of the Shannon's Club yet? If you have, you know how awesome it is. And if you haven't, it's just so easy to do. Find out more about the Shannon's Club at shannons.com.au where it truly is your garage. And when it comes to the finest in oils, coolants, fuel additives and a whole lot more, there's Penrite. Been established since 1926, Australian made and Australian owned. The technical assistance team is also there to help us seven days a week. Find out more at penriteoil.com.au. Oil right, use Penrite, simply a better class of oil. You're watching the 2014 American Car Nationals here in Queen Bee, New South Wales. Back with more right after this. When it comes to organising a shindig such as this, we have the culprit here. Hello, Wendy, how are you? Hi, Fletch, how are you going today? Good, thank you. A little warm? Yeah, it is warm, but look at your hat. How fantastic. You've got the best hat here, I think. Isn't it a beauty? It's wonderful. If it was the Melbourne Cup, eh, Fletch, you'd win the hat award, right? Oh, we could put you in a nice frock too. I think you'd look good. Yeah, I've got to draw the line. Uh, I'll, I'll do a lot of things. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll say yes to most things, but perhaps not the frock. Oh, okay. We'll let you off on that one then. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll have to get the frock out of here. Now, uh, now, Wendy, this is an awesome event. It's been on the map since 1991, the American Car Nationals. Uh, what can you tell us about this year? Well, this year, it's a fantastic year. It's been bigger and better than previous years. I think as it goes along, the grows in um, numbers, swap meet sites, cars, and it's just a fun family event. Absolutely, I mean, you know, doing the interview now, we've got the band playing, uh, we've got the music going, I mean, it's, it's all happening. doesn't matter if it's 40 degrees, it's not stopping the diehards from coming out. It's a, a, a big three-day event, it's not just the one day, right? That's it, there's actually three events that take place over the course of the weekend. So on the Saturday and Sunday, we had the Queen Bee and Swap Meet. On Saturday, we had the big three car show where you've got Ford, Chrysler and GM. And then today, we've got the American Car Nationals. So it's all happening here at the Queen Bee and Showground. Now, a lot of people around the country know about this event, but if you're watching for the first time, what's the website, Wendy? It's easy. It's just www.qbnswap.net. There you go. And look, it's been my privilege to interview you today to know that this hat has helped to shade you as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Fletch. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Thanks. Moving through, found some shade. Got the big uh, Fletchy hat off. Mal, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Very good. You having a good day? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, we are out here yesterday for the swap meet, and then uh, today we've brought the, the hot rods out, and um, yeah, having a good day, yeah. Mate, sensational custom what you've done here. Uh, what is it? It's a 1951 um, Mercury Coupe, uh, which the 51s had the longer quarter panels and the bigger back window. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, brought in from the States in, in 2008 and it was a rusted out basket case, uh, which I knew when I brought it in. Uh, got it for the right price. Um, totally restored it. It was stock except for the roof chop which was already done, and that was done quite well. Mm. But we've done all the other custom work. We've done the D badge in the grill, the bonnet, the louvers, um, done all the rust front to rear, um, all the hinge pillars, the sill panels, and floors front to rear. Mm. Um, How'd you go during it? Uh, did you find it um, a fairly easy restoration, or was it a hard job to do? Well, it was, it was fairly easy because... We basically just cut the rust out and replaced it with, with, with new panels, with panels that we made up ourselves. I made up all the floor panels myself. It wasn't a reproduction of, of original panels, so I didn't have to worry about whether it was going to be swage lines were going to be right or not, but yeah. they're, they're, you know, they're safe and secure. You're a clever bloke, aren't you? Yeah, I've done quite a few hot rods over the years, <laughs> and, uh, and, and this was probably one of the bigger projects, but... We knuckled down and we didn't stop. It was like a jail sentence. Every day we went out and we spent an hour on it whether we wanted to or not. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, long and low. I mean, what a sled. Uh, now, the flute's up there on the top of the hood. Did you do that as well? No, a guy down in, um, in uh, Wollongong done those for me. I call him uh, Marty the, the Flute Man. There's, I don't know, 191 louvers or something. The guy told me years ago it's pretty tricky work, that sort of stuff. It is. He's lined them all up straight there's, and, and they're all near perfect and he was also very cost efficient which yeah. is even which was even better you know the, the job come back yep. for the right price in the right time. 
which is a plus in hot rodden. I like your attention to detail too, the recessed lamps in back there. Yep. That's beautiful as well. Uh, I know we're going from the back to the front. What powers the car? It's a, it's a stock 305 Chevy um, and it's got, I've fitted the air conditioning, it's got uh, the vintage air in it, it's the power steering, it's got a single four barrel holly on it, a um, bit of chrome under the bonnet. Um, so pretty basic start, stop, steers. Yep. Paint graphics down the side, Mal. They're nice as well. Not too overdone, just a little bit nice. Yeah, yeah. well we had, uh, we had the option we are going to buy the Buick Spears and then you had to buy them, you got to lengthen them, you got to restore them, it's pretty expensive so I thought I'd just go with the airbrush work. I got a local Canberra guy to do that. Mal, there's a few customs here today mate but it's been a pleasure catching up with you. Yours I think takes the cake mate. Thanks very much Fletch, it's You're been welcome. a pleasure. Good on you mate. Bye. When it comes time for additives and coolants, which one suits your vehicle? Well, here's a message from one of my major sponsors that may help you find the answer. Can't find the right coolant for your vehicle? Take this for example. Universal Top-Up Premix can be mixed with any coolant and it won't discolour or degrade the original coolant that's in the vehicle. This and many other products, including OEM approved coolants, can be found in over 5,000 retailers in Australia, New Zealand, Europe, and in the United States of America. Here we have a true classic, a 1963 AC Ace. This is the last of the six cylinders. And for this particular car, we use a HPR30, 20W60 high-end zinc. If you're into your classic motorcycles, this being a 1951 BSA, uh, we recommend an Enduro four-stroke 25W70. Here again, we have another nice little classic. This is a 1959 Triumph TR3. Penrite Pacifically make an oil exactly for this car. And if you have a serious need for speed, this 1983 Cheetah, Cosworth powered, needs the ultimate in protection. The 10 tens range covers that. If it's all too hard and you're not sure of the product to put in, the technical assistance line is there seven days a week to help you find the right product for the right application. Now for more information and a whole lot more, contact the major sponsor via classicrestos.com.au. If you can picture yourself joining us on a Fletch tour in 2015 to the United States of America, have a look at this. You deserve a Fletch tour. See the amazing Ford, GM and Chrysler Nationals at Carlisle events along with museums and private collections in beautiful Pennsylvania, USA. Then it's the Motown city of Detroit and its region taking in more die-hard stuff with incredible history. Rounding off with the Woodward Dream Cruise, the largest moving car cruise in the world. The best part of coming here actually was having Fletch here. We get picked up, we get dropped off. Fletch is a wonderful tour guide. I would just recommend a Fletch tour to anybody. Go to classicrestos.com.au and click on the Fletch Tours icon for more information. Hope you're enjoying today's show. Back with more after this. Here we have Dermot now. How are you, Dermot? I'm just fantastic, Fletch, and I like your hat. Oh, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Weather like this, I think you could use it. Yeah, well, it's a great thing. It's only about uh, 98 degrees under this. I know. I used to be in the Cadillac Club, and you have to wear a Panama hat and that. That was one of the rules. The other one was one hand on the wheel at all times. <laughs> so I've still got that because my, my Cadillac has yeah. um, gone on to better things. But well, you've got a beautiful Lincoln there, four-door Lincoln. Yep. You know, what I like about these cars is that the, uh, the four-door cars are starting to get a little bit of recognition now. This is probably one of the most comfortable cars you would ever drive. Tell us some more. It's like driving your living room. Like, oh. you might as well be comfortable the amount of time you spend in your car these days. Like I'm sorry, Dermot, I thought for a second it was your house. I'm sorry. It is like a house. I thought it was your house. Yeah, it's got plush um, bench seats, split bench front and back, yeah. crushed velour. Yeah. This is the town car model, so everything is velour. There's no vinyl anywhere inside, which is good. So I find it's, I make a trip and I wish it was longer every time. Isn't it incredible? Aren't, weren't they made back in a time? I mean, this car is so long, and I have used this line before, that the front of it gets to the place 10 seconds before you do. I'd say it's more like 10 minutes. Could be 10 minutes? Yes. I've got to say in postcode. I've got to say that. Beautiful cars, these Lincolns, presidential cars. I mean, they've always, they go back with a lot of legacy, don't they? They do, they do. And I always like the big sedans. I think the two-door marks are more for the debonair, suave, bachelor type. But I'm a family man, and <laughs> I wanted some um, comfort in the back seat. Well, geez, Dermot, you were going well until you mentioned about wanting comfort in the back seat, because that can then take on a whole new meaning itself. It can, but it's too hard to get in and out of a two-door. <laughs> <laughs> I like the guy. Okay, now up front, have we got a 460? 
It's a 460, yes. Yeah. This is made about the time when Ford uh, made the 460 optional. It was initially standard on 49 state 77s. Halfway through the year it became an option, the 400 became standard. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And I mean, look at the face of that dashboard. I mean, it's like a it's like a brick wall of instrumentation and feature. I, can I talk mean, talk about dashboards. This, yeah. this is the last of the steel dashboards. 70 to 77 is all steel with right. facings on it. Yeah. 78 on, they're um, they're plastic out of a mercury, mercury and Ford with yeah. with the Lincoln facing. But yeah. so I like the traditional steel. Yeah. 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 And the, the, the 77 has also got the full skirts on the back. Yeah. Uh, a, a traditionalist, big hat, big hat in the way needs a. Oh, look at that. Needs a bracket welded on the front to come down here. You know, traditionalist and a purist. Dermot, wonderful having you on today's show, mate. I love it. I really do. It's a pleasure, Fletch. Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Before you go, I've got a question for you, Dermot. Yes. Where, whereabouts are you from? Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Via, via Ontario, Canada. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. He knows his stuff. Good bloke. Thanks, Dermot. Pleasure. You know, one of the best ambassadors for Shannon's insurance would have to be this little guy here, Nick. He's a bit of a legend. He drives the Shannon Super Rig. He goes everywhere in this. Hello, Nick. How are you? Hey, how are you going? Great, mate. Good to see you again. Good to be here. Now, Nick, tell us a little bit about the Super Rig and the, the places you go and what it's all about. Super Rig was originally put on the road to travel the country to do little car shows all over Australia, out in the regional areas. It's completely standalone. It doesn't need anything to operate, has its own power. It's not very often we get to open the roof and give everyone the full effect of it. Now, how many years have you been driving it? Mate, I've been doing it for um, over five years now. And you go back a long way with Shannon's too, don't you? I go back to 1996. I used to be Robert Shannon's driver. That's awesome. And I mean, the legacy continues here with the Super Rig. Uh, it is just awesome. You, you'd have one of the best jobs in the country, I'd imagine. Oh, most definitely. Tell us quickly about the Super Rig. Now, when if you haven't been here before, you walk up the steps and you go through, what's inside? The inside of the Super Rig is designed to be like a 1960s garage. We have some old brickwork on one side. We have the old woodwork on the other side. We've got the folding doors. Inside, we have a... Um, an effigy of a 1947 Studebaker Champion. We have three interactive televisions with old ads from Ford, Chrysler and Holden. We have an old Shell Mix petrol bowser that's been restored. And we have a, um, a parking meter from 1976. That's unbelievable. That's just so good. Well, mate, I'll let you get back to it. There's no doubt about it. Find another insurance company that puts this on. Eh? Best of luck. Yeah, you won't find one. Nick, a pleasure catching up with Cheers, you, buddy. Yeah. It's all good. It's always good to see you. Always good to see you too. Good Thanks, you, mate. mate. Good the Shannon's Club is interesting, and it will keep you occupied for hours. After logging in, there's just so much to see. There's the homepage, where you can keep up to date with the latest activities, make your comments, and enjoy the replies. The Enthusiast page is where you can connect with others and send a message. The Vehicle section is incredible as well. Just click on your model of choice, from A through to Z, the cars will come up along with the owners to connect with. The business directory is your key to finding a business to help you. Everything from cleaning and detailing services, memorabilia and collectibles, info on Shannon's auctions, with tools and sheds just to name some. News and reviews keeps you informed with automotive happenings along with various vehicle reports, information and specifications. It doesn't matter where you are in Australia, the events directory is a very useful tool. The weekend is coming up. Want to find a car show? Check out the events section of the Shannon's Club. The videos section gives you access to your favourite motoring TV shows. Click on your desired program and watch the catch-up episodes to your heart's content from anywhere in the world. And the car club section is very cool. It is here where you can list your car club or search for someone else's car club. The forum section is vast. It's your place to buy, swap, sell and want for items. There's events, the list goes on. And of course, Shannon's are known for competitions and overseas trips. Keep an eye on this section for current travel prize winning opportunities. The Shannon's Club truly is your garage.
Well, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed just some of the 2014 American Car Nationals. And I'm sure you'll agree that Sean, Wendy and Chris and the team have done a wonderful job in pulling this event together for 2014. Don't forget 2015. In the meantime, ClassicResto's.com.au is the website that you need for the DVD box sets of the show, including Series 2 of Classic Resto's Trucks Edition. Contacting us about joining us on a Fletch Tour in 2015 and of course the major sponsors as well. As I say at the end of every show, no matter where you're watching from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Classic Restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, where you can sign up for the Shannon's Club and Penrite Oil, offering technical assistance seven days a week.